are we ready for the next witness? Or do you yes, want to we call uh, Mr. Duck. Okay. So just a reminder, you're still under oath, okay? Yes, ma'am. All right, thank you, sir. Thank you, Good morning, morning, Mr. Depp. Good morning. Um, we heard a lot about some statements that Mr. Waldman made. Do you remember that? Yes. And Mr. Waldman is your attorney or was your attorney? Yes. Could we please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 1245? And this is already in evidence, so permission to please yes. publish. If we could scroll down to the second page. Mr. Depp, do you see the statement here attributed to Mr. Waldman? Yes, I do. When's the first time that you saw this statement? Um. All right. We can pull the exhibit back up. Thank you. Mr. Depp, when is the first time that you saw this statement by Mr. Waldman? Um, the first time that I uh, ever saw this statement uh, was in August. Um, it was when the piece was, the, the, the um, when she, uh, August 2020, when I was countersued by Ms. Heard. This is the first time that I saw any of these uh, statements. Can we please pull up defendant's, defendant's exhibit 1246? And this is also already in evidence. Right. Thank you. If we could scroll down to the second page or the th third, perhaps. Thank you. Mr. Depp, do you see this statement that's attributed to Mr. Waldman here? I do. And when is the first time that you saw these statements? Uh, same, uh, when, the, when the countersuit uh, was filed. And could we please go to Defense Exhibit 1247? And again, this is already in evidence. And if we could scroll down, please, thank you. Mr. Depp, do you see the statement attributed to Mr. Waldman? I do indeed, yes. And when's the first time that you saw this statement? The, 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 this, this is the same. It's uh, the uh, uh, counterclaim to August 2020. After you saw these statements for the first time, did you form an understanding as to where they appeared? I didn't, uh, as to where they had appeared, the statements. In what, in what publication? Um, no, off the bat, I, I didn't 
know exactly. Um, it, it just seemed like a lot of word salad to me. Uh, I, I didn't know where they'd come from or, I mean, where they ended up or... Mr. Depp, do you recall Ms. Hurd testifying that she, you did not assist her in getting her role in Aquaman? Uh, yes, I do, yes. And what is your response to that? Um, um, it's not, it's not, um, it's not exactly true. Do you know when Ms. Hurd first auditioned for Aquaman? Strangely, I know the day. You know, well, no, I, yes, I do know the day, um, because um, uh, I was scheduled uh, with um, my band, the, uh, the, the the Hollywood Vampires. Uh, we had done two shows at the Roxy, which is a place in Los Angeles, to um, rehearse for a. Uh, we were invited to play at the Rock and Reel. Um, concert, which is a huge rock and roll festival. So we did the two shows to go to Rio and play there. Um, Miss Herb, uh, I wanted to, wanted to uh, come with me, and uh, uh, Whitney, her sister, had come as well. Um, while we were there in Rio, we were rehearsing, getting ready for the show. Uh, Miss Hurd informed me that she would have to be going, she would have to get back to Los Angeles for an audition, meaning um, it's basically after our two-hour show or whatever, we had to, we would have to get on the plane immediately to make it back to Los Angeles um, for this audition. And um, that audition was... Uh, uh, at Warner Brothers, it was uh, whatever film it was. And when were you performing at the Rock in Rio? Oh, uh, sorry. Yeah, that was the, tw I believe it was the 24th of September. In what year? Uh, that was 15. What do you understand happened after Miss Heard auditioned for Aquaman? Um... <clears throat> After after Ms. Hurd's uh, audition or possibly auditions uh, for Warner Brothers and uh, the, the I suppose the creative team, um, Ms. Hurd ex expressed to me that the film was going to be Warner Brothers had said that the film was going to be shooting in Australia, and Australia was a for Ms. Hurd that was a potential. Problem, which Jackson, Your Honor, we approach. Okay.
I apologize, Mr. Depp. Could you please continue? What happened after Ms. Hurd auditioned for Aquaman? Uh, I was informed uh, by Ms. Hurd that the film was going to be um, shooting in Australia. And that, that was of um, concern to her. And because there, it was of concern um, to Warner Brothers. Um, so she asked if I would, because I, I, I'd had a, I'd had a, a multi, um, for, for a few years I'd had a multi-film uh, deal with, with Warner Brothers and uh, so we'd been in business together so I knew these people, I'd been in, I'd been on films with them so I she asked me if I would speak to them. I made a phone call and I, I spoke to... Uh, Objection hearsay, Your Honor. I, I don't believe he said anything. I think he was going to say who okay. he spoke to. All right, we'll, we'll see. Overruled at this point. Um, I spoke to three, um, the three upper echelon um, Disney executives, uh, excuse me, Warner executives, Kevin Sujihara, Sue Kroll, and uh, uh, Greg Silverstein. Um, and I told them objection, that- Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. All right, I'll sustain objection. On. Next question. Um, what was the result of you speaking with those individuals? Um, well, I-, I, I, I um, I can only say that ultimately she did, she did get the job in the film. So hopefully, I, I, I suppose I had curbed their worries to some degree. Mr. Depp, do you recall Ms. Hurd testifying that she saw you consume eight to ten MDMA pills while you were at once while you were in Australia in um, March of 2015? Yes, I do remember that. How many I also remember her saying that I took a handful. Objection beyond the scope. Question. Sorry, I just that was extra resident. All right, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. How many times have you done MDMA in your life, Mr. Depp? Uh, actually, not many. Not that many times. I would say in my lifetime, maybe in my lifetime, MDMA. Six, seven, maybe. And how much MDMA have you done on those occasions? Uh, not enough to, um, not enough to uh, properly, well, not, not, not enough to properly, properly experience the, what the um, chemicals are supposed to do to you. Have you ever consumed eight to ten MDMA pills at once? No, ma'am. No, I have not. And why is that? Um, because I'd be dead. I'm pretty sure I'd be dead. Um, I think one would die. Yes, it, and probably rather quickly. Mr. Depp, I'd like to show you some pictures from the home in Australia that Ms. Hurd testified about. Sure. Could we please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 1817, which is already in evidence? <coughs> Mr. Depp, do you recognize what's depicted in this photograph? Uh, yes, I do. That's the, um, that's the downstairs bar um, of the house we rented in Australia. And can you please show the jury where you were sitting when Miss Heard threw um, the two vodka bottles at you? Um, if I touch this thing, it'll make a yes, mark. Yes, it will. Okay. So this chair, that one uh, here, was over here. Um, and it was in pretty much when I was 
turned around toward the, they were on swivels, so when I was turned around towards the bar, I'm facing the bar. When I turned around this way, the chair, this chair here was in uh, pretty much exactly this same position as this chair. It, it was fate when I was facing um, <clears throat> Miss Hurd, who was, let's say she was, if you're looking at the photograph, she would be about here. Could you uh, draw a line in the direction where Miss Hurd was relative yes. to where you were sitting? Yes, absolutely. So if I'm sitting here, um, she was over here. Like back here. Approximately how far away from Miss Hurd, well, from you was Miss Hurd, if you can recall? I would say I would say it was probably 10, 12, 15 feet, maybe 10 feet, 12 feet. And approximately where was your hand when the vodka bottle hit it? It was, um, it was leaning. My arm was, sorry, my, my arm was leaning on the, um, the marble bar, um, right there where that imaginary seat is and uh, leaning uh, kind of just leaning back and and um, looking at Miss Hurd she just walked away with the, the second bottle uh, I mean she, she walked this way when she threw the first bottle which is uh, actually visible Can in you the please background circle on where the, the floor first could you please circle where the first bottle oh, is? Oh, sorry, excuse me, yeah. All that is the um, exploded first bottle that, that went past my, <clears throat> that went past my head. And the second bottle um, hit right up here where my hand was resting on the, um, Marble bar. Can we please pull up defendant's exhibit 1820? Mr. Depp, do you recognize what's depicted in this photograph? This is behind that very bar. And what do you see on the floor in this picture? Um, I see what looks to me like a, a, a some kind of napkin. It looks uh, solid, soiled, blood, I don't know. And I see glass in the corner, blood obviously on the floor, and um, a towel leaning up on some cab something. Do you know how that bloody tissue got on the floor? Um, I, my best guess, um, Jackson calls for speculation. Uh, sustained. Okay. I'm, do, you, do you know how the blood got on the floor, Mr. Depp? I'm pretty, well, I know how the blood got on the floor. It came from my dripping finger. So that's why the tissue um, is is uh, I'm 99.9 .9 percent sure since it is uh, looks like it's got blood on it as well is what what I um, held my finger uh, held held my finger uh, with. Do you see the wall to the on the left side of the photograph? I do. Was there a wall-mounted phone on that wall? On the left side of the photo? No, I didn't know. Uh, no. Not that I recall, no. Uh, could we please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 394, which is already in evidence? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Depp, do you recognize this text message? 
I, uh, I do. And what, what is this message? Um, it's a, it's a, a text to Dr. Kipper. Um, I'm, just, I'm sorry, just reading through. Sure. Yeah, this is um, this is uh, my text to the to to uh, Dr. Kipper, who who had just happened to be in town, um, telling him that uh, I've had it and um, that I just lost a finger a fingertip. How long after your finger had been injured did you send this text message, if you can recall? It's hard, it's hard to tell because when I look at the timestamp, it says delivered 3-7-2015, 5 o'clock. Um, but I know that because of Australia time, it was the 8th and it was probably, this was the whole thing lasted probably until about 2 p.m. Um, or so. When, when that was when Kipper was called, Jerry was brought in. And Jerry Judge, sorry, excuse me. So, do you have an estimate as to how long after your finger had actually been injured that you sent this message? I, I don't think it was very long. I think it was probably within the next. It was no, I'm sure it was in the next half hour or so. Um, I would have had to sneak into a, a bathroom, lock myself in to type this out. <clears throat> and how were you able to send this text message to Dr. Kipper in the state that you were in? Um, well, he, he wasn't available at the time, so um, just to sort of thumb your way through, don't you? How long after sending this text message did you see Dr. Kipper? Um, I, I don't recall that I think it, it took them probably 30 minutes or more, 30, 30 to 40 minutes to get there. And what did Dr. Kipper do when he first arrived at the home? Oh, the, the first thing he wanted to do was inspect uh, the damage of my finger um, and try and figure out exactly what had happened, how it happened. And what did you tell Dr. Kipper about how your finger had been injured? I, Objection, Your Honor. May we approach? Say, we've right, discussed this fine. several times. Let's go.
Mr. Depp, when Dr. Kipper was treating your finger, what did you tell him about how your finger became injured? Um, I told him, I told him that there was obviously, I mean, when you saw the damage in the house and everything, and the blood everywhere, I mean, obviously there was serious damage done. Um, I, there would be no point in lying to the man. He'd been through it with me and, and, uh, Miss Red before I told him that she had, uh, thrown a bottle, bottle of vodka and smashed my hair, smashed and cut my finger uh, off, the tip of my finger, just the, but a good chunk. I miss it. <laughs> uh, Mr. Depp, you heard Ms. Hurd testify um, about an alleged incident of abuse on your honeymoon. Do you remember that? I remember her testifying to that, yes. And when did you and Ms. Hurd go on your honeymoon together? I believe it, it, it was somewhere in the neighborhood of August, um, because I, ju I just finished the film. Maybe end of July, um, August. I, I'm not quite good on the exact date. Do you recall the year? It was 2000. Uh, Fifteen, I believe. And where did you and Miss Hurd go on your honeymoon? Um, we we um, took the uh, the Orient Express um, from Bangkok, Thailand to Singapore. And what happened while you and Miss Hurd were together on the Orient Express? Um. There were, there, there, were, there were times when it was very agreeable, very nice. And then there were times when um, something, some, something had become dissatisfactory for her and she would uh, start the, the um, rant. The, the blooming of the of a fight w would would be on deck there, and uh, and and, and uh, at one at one point it didn't. I mean, I don't remember it lasting long at all. I, I just remember that um, I I took a pretty good uh, shot to the. Um, to the face, to the eye, to somewhere up here. So I had a bit of a shiner. Um, but it, but but the it all went ended, and then everything got fine again. And we'd go to dinner, and it was all fine. Did Miss Hurd ever apologize to you for giving you the shiner? I don't. I don't recall. Can we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 162, which is already in evidence? Mr. Depp, do you recognize this photograph? I do. It was with the, the yes, the, the, um, the chef and the maitre d' and the staff were asking if they could take a photo with us, and they'd been very kind at giving us a and private dinner card. So where was this photograph taken? That was in the, um, um, that looks like it's in the, yes, that's towards the back of the Orient Express. That's in the, uh, the, the, the back train com bar compartment. And just out back, you could smoke on the, on the um, sort of caboose or whatever. And what, if any, injuries do you have in this photograph? I think the, um, the, the eyes, a little bit bugged out, if you will. And it's, yeah. How did that happen? Um, these things could happen very quickly. If, if, if you disagreed. 
objection, Your Honor, non-responsive. She just asked, how did that happen? I right. believe he was about to explain. Well, I'll state the objection. Okay. So, Mr. Depp, specifically, how did the injury in this photograph occur? Um, I'm sure it hit me. Is that better? Um, does this picture accurately reflect what you looked like on that date? I, I don't look at myself much, but it, it certainly looks like me with a black eye. Does this picture appear to have been photograph uh, photoshopped in any way? No, I think no. I think it would be difficult to photograph or to uh, start getting into sort of digital processing with a number of people in the shot, especially in a wide shot. Could we please pull up Plaintiff's Exhibit 1301? And this is a new one, Your Honor, so this is not in evidence. Okay, thank you. Mr. Depp, do you recognize what's reflected in this photograph? Uh, yes, this is the, the staff. Uh, it's the manager and uh, his staff at the, um, um, the Raffles Hotel in Singapore. Um, and before we left, they, uh, they asked if they could take a photograph with us. And when was this photograph taken? Um, well, that would have been, we were off the Orient Express. We stayed in Raffles, I believe, a couple of, a couple of days, few days. And then from there, we flew to San Francisco. So this photograph was taken after the photograph we just looked at? Th th this photograph was taken after the photograph in the dining car of the train, yes. Uh, Your Honor, I'd uh, move uh, Plaintiff's Exhibit 1301 into evidence. Pardon any objection? Oh, happy honeymoon. So any, 31st of October. Any, any objection? No objection, Your Honor. All right, 1301 is an evidence can be published to the jury. Mr. Depp, what, if any, injuries do you see on your face in this photograph? I see pretty much the same. I, I, I see that the the area in here has been uh, well is is uh, swollen and uh, um yeah there's a bit of a shiner there thank you we can take this down mr depp do you recall miss heard testifying that she punched you um, in the staircase incident because she thought of Ms. Kate Moss in the stairs. Do, do I remember her saying that? Yes. Yes, I do. Three times. Yes, I do. Do you have any understanding as to what Ms. Hurd was referring to? I, yes, I do. And I, um, as, as Kate Moss, um, Kate testified, it was many, many years ago, um, and, and what exactly what happened is what she said happened. I uh, recall, I recall um, speaking with Ms. Heard about an, uh, 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 that, in, that very incident. Um, because of the down, uh, downpouring of rain, because it was raining very heavily that day that Kate slipped. Uh, and I recalled the story to her. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. Uh, may we approach Your Honor? Okay. Thank you. 
Please continue, Mr. Depp. What did you tell Ms. Hurd about the staircase, or Kate Moss? I'll, I'll make it easy for Mr. Rotten Bourne. Um, Ms. Hurd uh, took the story and turned it into a very ugly incident all in her mind. Um, there was never a moment where I pushed Kate down any set of stairs, yet she's spewed this three times before. Um, Objection, Your Honor. Ms. Hurd simply testified that she had heard a rumor, and that's uh, what's not a rumor? responsive to the question. Mr. Sir, hold on. Sorry. Ms. Objection. I'll overrule the objection. Ms. States the facts and evidence. I'll overrule the objection. Sorry, I'm, I was drawn by Mr. Rottenborn's um, voice. Certainly. What, what was you looking for? Um, so what, what specifically had you actually told Ms. Hurd about the incident with Ms. Moss and the stairs? Very simply that she had, we were in Jamaica. Um, I had left our bungalow um, about three minutes prior to her, I was standing outside and suddenly rain starts just coming down like it's, you know, uh, a monsoon. And then I remember looking and seeing Kate coming out the door and there were three little wooden stairs and she slipped, her legs went up and she landed directly on her coccyx and her, and her lower back. So, and she, was obviously physically in pain uh, and she was hurt, she was crying. So I ran over and grabbed her to make, you know, to make sure she was all right. Uh, um, that's, that's it. That's the, that's all I ever, that, that's the whole story. But then um, the rumor of it, I'd never heard a rumor of that. Um, before um, Miss Hurd uh, grabbed hold of it. It's like that, I'm sorry. Mr. Depp, uh, we heard testimony from Miss Hurd's sister, Whitney, during this trial. Do you remember that? Yes. And how would you describe your relationship with Whitney when you were in a relationship with Miss Hurd? I, 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 I liked Whitney very much. Um, initially, I mean, when I first met her, I liked her very much um, and grew to love Whitney um, very much um, because I, I always, it, it seemed, Whitney, Amber's sister, Whitney seemed to always get the, the, the sort of dirty end of the stick and um, I, I felt bad for her, for that, because it wasn't new. It had been there for, for life. And that was, that was, seemed pretty obvious. So I, I, I took, uh, I took to Whitney um, very, very quickly, very easily. She was, a, she was a very sweet kid. She was wonderful. What do you mean that Whitney got the dirty end of the stick? Um, it was a kind of a strange combination of loving sister, trusted sister and friend, um, and then lackey, and uh, then, you know, either the punching bag or the dartboard, or the recipient of... Uh, of some rather demeaning and ugly um, words, or she would have wine thrown in her face. And who was the source of those demeaning words and the wine that you just referenced? Well, that would be Amber Heard, her sister. And how do you know that? Well, I witnessed quite a lot of it. Um, the wine in the face uh, 
was something that happened in New York, which uh, I think that even made it into the papers. I believe that even made it into the papers. It was in an elevator. How did you first learn about that incident? Missouri told me in detail. What else did you observe of um, Miss Heard and her sister Whitney's interactions during your relationship with Miss Heard? They were just constantly up and down, but I, you know, I could, I could sense, I could feel that Whitney was trying to please her sister, trying to be up to snuff and um, it just seemed like she got shot down. Judge, Your time. Honor, this has gone beyond the scope of the question or uh, his oh. foundation for knowledge of that. Your Honor, I, I, I asked what he observed, you know, between them. I think this is responsive to that. And his testimony as to what Whitney felt is... I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Okay. Did you ever see Miss Heard physically attack Whitney? No, I've never seen any full-on blowouts, physical blowouts between them. Tons of verbal uh, blowouts. Should be on the scope. Overruled. Um, I, I've certainly seen Miss Heard grab Whitney. Um, um, push her, push her around. Uh, there were a number, number. There were half a dozen times when uh, we, some of us, whoever, whoever was in the general vicinity, would have to leave. Um, this is at Orange when Whitney and Amber were living at Orange. Uh, Whitney and her boyfriend <coughs> at the time, Sean Krzyzewski, uh, and uh, he, we actually, we had to leave the apartment and what, wait in the car while they fought. And when you say fought, do you mean physical? Physical. Or physical. And when you said Miss Heard would push Whitney around, do you mean that to physically push her or metaphorically? Both. Um, you heard Whitney testify that she lived in Penthouse 4 at the Eastern Columbia building for a time, correct? That is correct, yes. Um, how did Whitney come to live in Penthouse 4? Um, my recollection when Whitney first came to stay at the um, Eastern Columbia building in Penthouse 4 was she and her boyfriend, Sean, had um, broken up and uh, she needed a place to go. And so Amber asked if she could stay in Penthouse 4 and I said, well, of course, she, of course, you know. How long did Whitney live in Penthouse 4? Um, it was well over a year, on and off. Did you ever ask Whitney to move out of Penthouse 4? No, I did not, no. Why did Whitney ultimately move out of Penthouse 4? Objection, foundation. It, it's his apartment, Your Honor. He was living there. Oh, overruled. Um, Whitney moved out of Penthouse for um, long before the um, marriage, and it was due to a an argument that Ms. Heard and Whitney had had, um, which had to do with um, Whitney working at the Art of Elysium with Jennifer Howell and those people. And stand. Uh, I'm asked her to leave. 
get out. Where did Whitney live when she moved out of Penthouse 4? My understanding is she went to live with Jennifer Howell. Uh, Your Honor, I know you um, anticipated having a motion at noon. I... Uh, it, it, you can keep going. That's okay. fine. We can... well, how much longer in direct do you have? Um, I have a, a, a bit. Okay, that's okay. Uh, Mr. Depp, do you recall hearing testimony during Ms. Hurd's case um, from Mr. Mandel? Yes, I do. And, and who is that? Uh, Mr. Mandel is uh, my former business manager of 17 and a half years who at a certain point I um, uh, discovered had been um, embezzling quite a lot of money. So I had to uh, uh, take action against uh, him and uh, he and, and, and my lawyer of 17 and a half years as they were uh, in cahoots, as it were. And um, so, so, yes, Joe Mandel is, uh, and they, which was, they, they settled um, their case uh, with me. They made their settlement. Um, but yes, it was. It was the big. That was a very. Yeah, Joel Mandel is a, a very bitter man who um, ended up with a lot of money that I worked hard for over the years. Do you recall Mr. Mandel testifying in this case that um, you do not spend? very much money on charity. That I don't, sorry? That you do not spend very much money on charity. Objection, Your Honor. Ms. Moore, approach. approach. Okay. Uh, Mr. Depp, just to remind you, my, my question was, what is your response to Mr. Mandel's testimony that you do not spend very much on charity? Uh, my response to that is Mr. Mandel is a very bitter man. And um, one thing about that me, myself, personally, with regard to charity donations, um, sending money to a charity. Um, I, I prefer, I don't, I would rather that my name were not on it. I don't want the name to be the important thing or the thing that people talk about. So when I donate I uh, money, uh, I donate without my name being involved because I, because I don't see that that's important, my name being there in terms of money. Now, if, if, I, if I am able to visit hospitals or if I'm able to um, meet with Make-A-Wish children, um, I have held on to the relationships that I've held on to in the make within the Make a Wish Foundation and the Children's Hospital and uh, various various other places. Um, oh, oh, then, my, obviously, my name is involved. When we held premieres in Leicester Square um, for several films, uh, 
Charlie and the Chocolate Honor, Factory. Again, beyond the scope of his response to Mr. Mandel's testimony. I believe this is in response to Mr. Yeah. Mandel. I'll overrule the objection. So basically, when it, bec when it was a public, let's call it a donation or whatever, I would talk to the studio, I would talk to Disney, I would talk to Warner Brothers, I would talk to whoever the studio was, uh, well before the premiere, and make the premiere a benefit that would, once we did what we benefited, we did a benefit, a premiere for Great Ormond Street Hospital, we did a benefit, a couple of benefit premieres for the Make-A-Wish Foundation. Um, I mean, if you can turn a premiere with that many thousands and thousands and thousands of people there into a benefit, um, it, it, it works and it helps. Um, but it wasn't presented under my name, you know. It was Disney's doing this or Warner Brothers is doing this. I'm not looking for the um, pat on the back, as it were. If I can make it happen, great. But I don't need the pat on the back. I don't need the adulation. I don't need the attention. Did you hear Ms. Hurd testify that one of the charities she donated a portion of your divorce settlement to was the Children's Hospital of Los Angeles? Yes. What is your relationship with the CHLA? Objection, Your Honor. Irrelevant. And to the May we approach Your Honor? Mr. Depp, what is your relationship with the CHLA? Um, I've had a relationship with the CHLA for probably 20 years or, or so. And um, what's the nature of that relationship? Um, 
Well, essentially, essentially, you know, uh, sometimes there are make-a-wish kids who are in the hospital there, and that their wish is to. Objection, Your Honor. Yes. Your Honor, may we approach? Okay. Sure. Mr. Depp, I'd like to take you back to uh, exactly six years prior to this week, the week of May 21st through May 27th, 2016. Um, what happened at the beginning of that week? May uh, 21st. Uh, excuse me, May 20th. May 20th, um, this is, we're, we're talking 2016 here. Yes. Um, May 20th, um, the afternoon of May 20th, afternoon, evening, um, my, uh, my mom, um, uh, made her exit she um uh, she'd been fighting um cancer numerous times and, and for many years and she she fought um all the way to the end and um so my mother passed away on the 20th of may um i which does bring instant perspective into one's mind. I uh, spoke to Amber that night. I called her on the telephone, explained to her that my mom had passed, that Isu had passed, and that um, I thought that the best thing we could do was to um, that I file for divorce. Honor, hearsay. Hear what Mr. Depp told Miss Heard. We can move on, Your okay. Honor. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Mr. Depp, what happened at the end of that week on May 27th, 2016? May 27th, my daughter's birthday. May 27th, um, I was not in Los Angeles. I was on the way to on tour, and uh, that was when uh, Miss Heard um, went for the restraining order. Um, and oh yeah, also that was the that was the day that uh, um, uh, Alice Alice through the looking glass, um, a film I'd done, was opening. Did Miss Heard know that you were out of town on May twenty seventh? Yes. How would she have known that? Well, I told her I was going on tour. I, I mean, it was that was well established. How long were you going to be out of town on that tour? Two to three months. And did Miss Heard know how long you'd be out of town? I, I don't know if she knew exactly how long I'd be out of town, but it was a pretty extensive tour of Europe.
How did Ms. Hurd's actions on May 27th, 2016 affect you? Changed everything. Objection, Your Honor. Relevance oh, it didn't change everything? Lawsuit, right? <laughs> Mr. Hurd, if you could wait till the objection, please. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. Relevance. 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 Your Honor, this is one of the key if you want dates. Approach. Mr. Depp, what has it been like for you to listen to Ms. Hurd's testimony at this trial? I'm sorry? What has it been like for you to listen to Ms. Hurd's testimony at this trial? Objection relevance, Your Honor. Oh, overruled. Insane. It's, it's insane to hear heinous um, accusations of violence, sexual violence, that she's attributed to me, that she's accused me of. Um, I don't think anyone enjoys having to uh, split themselves open and tell the truth. But um, 
there are times when one just simply has to because it's gotten out of control. It horrible. Um, ridiculous, humiliating, ludicrous, painful, savage, un, unimaginably brutal, cruel, um, and all false. Awful. Um, I wanted I, I I no human being is perfect, certainly not. None of us. But I have never in my life committed sexual battery, physical abuse, all these outlandish, outrageous stories of me committing these things and living with it for six years and waiting to be able to bring the truth out. So this is not uh, easy for any of us. I know that. But um, uh, no matter what happens, I did get here and I did tell the truth and I have spoken up for what I've been carrying on my back reluctantly for six years. Thank you. I have no further questions. All right. Did you want to take lunch at this point? All right, just, okay. All right, let's do that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take uh, lunch this time. Do not discuss this case with anybody and don't do any outside research, okay? Thank you. And don't break anything on your way out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So just a reminder that since you are back on the stand, do not discuss this case with anybody to include your attorneys at this point, okay? If you could just have a seat back there. All right, cross-examination. Thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Depp, I'd like to start with the, the honeymoon that you and Ms. Hurd took in uh, late July 2015. Certainly. You testify that you, you took a train ride from Bangkok to Singapore, is that right? That's correct. And you claim that on this train ride that Ms. Hurd um, hit you in the face, correct? Uh, yes. And left a black eye, correct? Yes. And Michelle, could you please pull up PX 162? Is that already in evidence? Yes, Your okay. Honor. You published the jury? Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Depp, this is the picture that your counsel showed you both in um, your prior or, or showed you this morning, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. And that mark under your left eye is what you claim to be a black eye caused by Ms. Hurd, correct? Um, seems to be there's some scratches around my nose as well. Okay. All right. But that it's your, your left eye, the one close to the chef. That's that's what your you says your your black eye, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Um, and that was the picture your team chose to show you. Right? Let's pull up Exhibit 1905, sure, Michelle, please. I'm sorry, which number was it? This is a new exhibit, Your Honor, 1905. And that's Defendant's? Defendant's Exhibit 1905. Okay, thank you. Ask for permission to publish, Your Honor. 
Oh, you want to put it in evidence? Mm -hmm. Okay. Any objection to 1905? Um, with the um, comments, I, we have no objection to the photograph itself. We would ask the comments be redacted as here said. Well, I'd like to at least question the witness about the comments. I have no objection to the photograph being published. Okay. Well, let, then let's let's wait wait a minute, Mr. Depp. You see here this. These are four pictures of you, right? Yes. Please. Yeah. And yes. and below it, it they indicate that they were taken on July twenty fourth, twenty fifteen, in Bangkok, Thailand. Correct. Objection. Lack of foundation. Calls for speculation. Overruled. In Bangkok, Thailand. So before the train ride. Correct. Before the train ride, because you yes. didn't get on the train ride till the twenty fifth. Is that right? I, 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 somewhere in that area, I guess. Okay, Your Honor, I'd ask for uh, permission to publish this to the jury. Um, to, with, if it's just the photographs, we have no objection. All right, if you want to redact the, um, just have the photographs in it? Sure. We'll do 1905. Yeah, 1905. But just with redaction, sure. we'll be fine. Still some on the bottom. I'm just, it's just redact the Thank you, Michelle. All right, publish. Thank you, Your Honor. Michelle, could you please um, scroll down to the bottom two pictures there? Mr. Depp, in these pictures that were taken before you got on the train ride for your honeymoon, where you claim that Miss Heard hit you and gave you a black eye, you have the exact same shadow or sunburner mark under your left eye. The exact um, same mark, don't you? That's the, um, when you get a side light, you see the occipital mm -hmm. bone. So that is the exact area. Yep. And it's actually. A side you, light will cause that. Yeah, well, the well. picture's not being taken from the side, is it? It's being taken no, no, head no, no, on, no, no, isn't no, it? No, no, no. The <clears> lens <throat> in front, yep. the light on the side right. will cause that occipital bone, I believe it's called, mm -hmm. to, to appear sunken. Just like lights on the side of a train car, correct? Objection well, calls for speculation. You can take that down, Michelle. That was, in fact, in the dark. S S I had S a chef, I had people on either side of me, so I don't see where the light fill is from the side there. Mr. Depp, if you could wait for the next question, next question. Next question. Sorry. Even the picture your team chose to show you on that train isn't accurate, is it? Let's pull Objection up. Objection calls for speculation. Let, let's pull up exhibit 1859, please. 1859. Is that in evidence? Yes, no, Your Honor. 1859. Mr. Depp, this is the this is the same picture or the same um, the exact same scene displayed in PX 162 that you looked at this morning, correct? That looks like my face has been, the eyes have been photoshopped. Oh, okay. By, so this, this, or, or, this post from the Eastern and Oriental Express's Facebook page, you're saying that that's photoshopped? Uh, is Let's that from their page? I would, sure, why wouldn't they? Let's pull them up side by side, please. Your Honor, I'd move for the admission of uh, this exhibit. We can just, just have the pictures. We don't need the... Any objection to the picture? Uh, objection, lack of foundation, lack of authentication. <laughs> Is that you in the photo, Mr. Depp? 
It is me, but it's clearly... Your Honor, it's been, I, I'd move it's to strike been, anything after that, first okay. of all, okay. um, and uh, would ask for admission of this photograph. Yeah. All right, just a photograph? Yep. Are you going to... We maintain our lack of authentication, lack of foundation. All right. Over objection on 1859. And Thank you, Your Honor. Michelle, could I please get you to... You need to redact it first. It, we actually have, have one um, it's, uh, that we'll admit or ask to be admitted as 1858. Uh, that is just the picture. I already have it. Okay. So we'll call this 1859 then. This is, so this is 1859. Yeah, we just need to... Okay. We'll fix that exhibit sticker on the bottom and get you that correct 1859. 1859. And Michelle, what I'd like to ask you to do, please, is to, to put the picture displayed as 1859, just was admitted into evidence, next to PX162 that was shown to Mr. Depp this morning. Okay. You can pop those. They're both in evidence. Okay. Can you try to make them the same size, please? This is the exact same picture, isn't it, Mr. Depp? With radically different quality. And... No, you answer my question. Permission How do you published. know I wasn't done? Answering. You answered my question, sir. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're very welcome. Mr. Depp, you had that, whatever mark it is, whether it's a sunburn, whether it's a shadow, whether it's the light reflecting, you had that same mark on your eye before you got on that train. Well, it's pretty difficult to get a sunburn on a train. Um, but, and let's in the photographs with the child, I don't look particularly sunburned. Can we see those again? Let's, let's uh, pull up exhibit uh, one. Actually, no, let's, let's talk about Australia for a little bit. Oh, good. You testified that you've never done ecstasy more than a handful of times in your life, correct? Six, seven times. Now, you heard Miss Hurd's testimony. You've been sitting here. I know you didn't look at her, but you heard her testimony. And oh, you, heard you heard her. her. You, you didn't hear her say you ingested eight to ten all at once. She said she came down after being apart from you for some time, and there were eight to ten gone from the bag. Objection correct? form compound. Overruled. I also heard Ms. Hurd say I reached yep. into a bag and threw them, poured a bunch of yep. MDMA down my mouth. C correct, correct, um, that's right. She didn't handfuls. say you poured 10 at one time, did she? No, she said a handful, Okay. which is more than 10, I believe. Okay, the fact is, Mr. Depp, you are asking for ecstasy. You, who have only done it six times in your life, you are asking, asking for ecstasy and cocaine within minutes of being admitted to the hospital after suffering your finger injury, weren't you? Objection compound. I don't recall oh, that I was okay. let's pull up, for any drugs. Yeah, let's pull up a plaintiff's or exhibit 393, please. You just said you don't recall you were begging for any drugs? No, I don't, that, but I do okay. recall being in great pain and great distress, so okay. I could have asked for a teddy bear as well. Okay. So this has been, this has been admitted, Your Honor. This is an evidence, okay? You can publish. And if you can... Blow up the text, please, Michelle. In this text message, Mr. Depp, you are, after you suffered your finger injury, you just testified you don't recall asking for any drugs, you're, you're texting Nathan Holmes, your personal assistant, need more whitey stuff ASAP, brother man, and the e-business. Now, we went over this in your cross-examination, didn't we? Okay. Yeah. If you say so, sir. And, you, and whitey stuff is cocaine. I would say. And the e-business is ecstasy. Uh, you yeah, quite likely, yes. Okay. So I, take I didn't recall that. Thank you. But, um, Can you pull up exhibit 1817, please? This is um, a picture that you were showed, shown this morning, Mr. Depp. Yes. And you kind of made some illustrations on the picture and, and gave your account of what you see here. Mr. Depp, you testified previously that the vodka bottle that you allege cut off your finger was a handle of vodka, correct? Um, yes. You've already testified the to that. second correct? bottle, there was a handle on that bottle, right. yes. This bottle, whatever it is, to the extent it's glass at all, that's in the corner of this room, that's not a handle of vodka. Objection calls for speculation. Um, 
I think oh, you'll find that I said two bottles. Mm -hmm. Well, before. actually, what, what you testified to this morning, Mr. Depp, was that the bottle in the corner was the handle. And there is no other no, bottle no. in the picture, is there? No, that's not what I testified. I testified that, may I touch the screen? Yes. This is glass. This is glass. And that's okay. not a handle. Neither of those are handles of vodka. Well, it's that big. It's broken. The handles up the top on those vodka bottles, mm -hmm. sir. Yeah. I and, mean, and none. If you if you combine all that glass on the floor, that doesn't make up the amount of glass in a handle of vodka, does it? Objection calls for speculation. I, I'm, I'm not a. You know, it, it, uh, when there's objection, hold on. Right. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. There is no picture of a handle of vodka broken on that floor, is there, Mr. Depp? No, I don't see it. I see glass under this chair here. Okay. Well, you testified uh, this morning that you did see it, so it's good to get that clarification. Let's no, I didn't say I saw a handle. Um, you also testified this morning <laughs> that, you, you, and I want to get this, I want to make sure that we're, we're on the same page here. You testified we earlier here. this morning that there was no phone in the bar area downstairs. Is that what you testified to? Uh, I don't recall a phone in the bar area. Okay. I don't recall. I, I don't recall a Bakelite phone in the bar area where I. Okay. No. Let's let's pull up um, Michelle, please. The UK day three, page four twenty one. Mr. Depp, we've <laughs> we've we've done this drill before. This is your testimony from the UK, correct? Can I please have? It's this. We don't have copies for everyone. It's on the screen. Your Honor, right may there. I please? I would like to have what. He is the testimony of the witness. Here, you can have my copy. Thank you. Mr. Depp, you remember giving testimony in the UK trial for several days, correct? Okay, so, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah. So and I do it, remember a telephone in the bar area, and this yeah, well, I, I'm, you picked it, up was made it, of Bakelite. This is my turn to do this, Mr. Depp. I'm sorry. On page 421, line 19, you were asked the question, and this telephone that you picked up was made of, uh, I'm sorry, I'm gonna go, go up one, line 15. Question, at one stage when you were in the kitchen screaming at Ms. Heard, you picked up a wall-mounted telephone. Do you remember a telephone in the kitchen? Answer, no ma'am, I remember a telephone in the bar area. Question, and this telephone that you picked up was made of Bakelite. Do you know what I mean by that? A retro telephone, wall-mounted but retro. Answer, it was a wall-mounted telephone, but it was not Bakelite. It was a modern phone. It was plastic. Question. A phone that was a wall-mounted phone that was picked up. Can you scroll down, please? Question. A phone that was a wall-mounted phone that was picked up by you, held in your right hand, and you were repeatedly smashing it against the wall in your right hand. Answer. That is possible. But I do not, if that is the case, I do not believe I spent very much time on the phone. I remember ripping the phone off the wall. That was your testimony, correct? It seems it would be yes. Thank you. I you answer my question. Thank you. <laughs> Mr. Depp, you've, you've claimed before, you've said, if I'm angry and I've got to lash out or hit somebody, I'm going to do it. And I don't care what the repercussions are. Anger doesn't pay rent. It's got to go. It's got to be evicted. You've said that before, haven't you? Have you a quote from me somewhere saying that? It's my question to you. You've said that before, haven't you? Well, actually, let's refresh your recollection. Can you pull up um, right. the Ghost in the Machine article, please? Possibly about paparazzis. <laughs> Mr. Depp, you see the picture of you um, on the lower left. You yes. appears to be shirtless and wearing a crown, uh, I believe. The, you see the long paragraph above that that starts with, in the Mark Hotel? Ah, uh, yes, you yes. See that? yes and, at the bottom of that, um, does this refresh your recollection that you said, I have a lot of love inside me and a lot of anger inside me as well. If I love somebody, then I'm going to love them. If I'm angry and I've got to lash out or hit somebody, I'm going to do it. 
and I don't care what the repercussions are. Anger doesn't pay rent. It's got to go. It's got to be evicted. Did I read that right? You did read that right, yes. Thank you. You can take that down, Michelle, please. Now, Mr. Depp, you've also claimed that um, you've said before that if, if you want to be with a woman sexually, that she is rightfully yours, haven't you? Could you repeat that? And you've also said that with Could respect, you repeat that, please? Yeah, yeah, that if you want to be with a woman sexually, that she is rightfully yours. That's ludicrous. You've also said that with respect to women that you want to be with, you've remarked, I need, I want, I take, haven't you? Equally as ludicrous, no. Can you pull up DX883, please? You can pull what you like. I've never said those words. There's not enough hubris in me to say eight, anything eight, like eight, that. 883? 883, Your Honor. It's not, DX, is it empty? It is not admitted yet. Okay, 883. Mr. Depp, these are text messages from you to Stephen Duders on February 22nd, 2017, correct? Um... This, no, this looks nothing like me. You might have mistaken. Uh... Mr. Depp, we can show the full unredacted. You've looked at a number of text messages in this case, and the words him as the identifier, that's you, correct? In every text message we've seen in this case. Yeah, uh, yeah sure. It yeah. still doesn't mean it hasn't been screwed with. That's not anything that I've ever said or written. You want to see the whole the whole thing unredacted? We can look at that too. No, it's because you could have typed it up last night, no. Yeah. I can assure you I didn't type it up last night, Mr. Depp. Your Honor, I'd move for the admission of Exhibit 883. All right, any objection? Uh, objection on relevance grounds, Your Honor. All right, well, do you want to approach for a moment? Yes. Let's take a look. All right, 883 in evidence as redacted. Thank you. Mr. Depp, are, you're aware that these are text messages. You, you can see the bottom right where it says Depp and then it has a number, 8129. Those are produced by you in this litigation. You understand that, right? I understand that. Okay. All right, Michelle, could you please, let's take a look at the top text first. Mr. Depp, on February 22nd, 2017, you texted Mr. Duders, right, exactly. Molly's pussy is rightfully mine. Should I not just bust in and remove its hinges tonight? Did I read that right? You read it right. And yes. the one beneath that, you say, I want to change her understanding of what it is like to be thrashed about like a pleading mackerel. And then in all caps, you write, I need I want, I take. Did I read that right? You read it right, but I did not write that. Okay. Perhaps someone else. You wrote every other phone. text that you produced that came from you in this litigation, didn't you? Not necessarily. Sometimes okay. you give your people your phone to people, and they now text when you strong. got off that plane Excuse me? Um, from Boston. I'm sorry. When you got off the plane from Boston, you you, you knew Miss Heard was angry with you, didn't you? It was pretty much a given. Objection. Okay. Calls for speculation. And. You understood her to be angry, right? 
She was always angry, yes. And you asked Mr. Duders, same person, you can take this down, Michelle, please, thank you. Same person that you texted in that last exhibit. You asked Mr. Duders to communicate with her on your behalf, correct? Um, I don't know what you're talking about. You'll have to explain. You asked Mr. Duders to communicate with Ms. Hurd by text to speak to her about the incident, correct? About what incident? To speak to her about the plane flight. The Didn't plane plane? The Boston plane. The Boston plane. Yeah. So you're saying that I uh, influenced Mr. Duders. I told him that he had to write this and I had to, told him that he had to write that. Is that what you're saying? No, no. It wasn't uncommon for Mr. Duders to text, to, to communicate with Ms. Hurd on your behalf, correct? Objection calls for speculation. Um, it, oh. He was your personal assistant. Mr. Duders was your personal assistant, correct? I had two personal assistants um, right. at the time. He was one of them, right? Yeah, Mr. Duders was one of them, yes, sir. Right, and, and it wasn't uncommon for you to ask Mr. Duders to communicate with Ms. Hurd on your behalf, correct? Um, it wasn't uncommon for any of them to communicate uh, with Ms. Hurd on my behalf if I were on set or... or, or unavailable or any or, of that or if or if Miss Hurd were, and you had had a fight you would sometimes have them to communicate with Miss Hurd on your behalf correct I think my crew caught on very quickly that just a, just a yes or would no, be Mr. necessary for them to no just a yes or no it was not uncommon Objection, after you and Miss Hurd had I'd ask that he be allowed to finish his answer. Yes or no question, Your Honor. All right. Can I ask your question? Thank you, Your Honor. It wasn't uncommon for you to have one of your personal assistants communicate with Ms. Hurd after you and her had a fight? I disagree because you're insinuating that I had them do it, and you don't know that. After the Boston plane flight, you had Mr. Duders communicate with Ms. Hurd, correct? When I'm asked what to do, I said placate her, just placate her like we always do. And, and you... you told him, send her whatever message you need to send to Placate, I'm sorry, correct? he's sorry, he feels bad, yes, because any other answer, you know, uh, uh, it would turn into World War III. Okay, can you pull up Exhibit 229, please? Your Honor, I think you know where I'm going here, and based on Mr. Depp's testimony, I'd ask him for the admission of Exhibit 229. Your Honor, I'd, can we please approach? Mr. Depp, you, you were pretty angry after Ms. Hurd got her temporary restraining order, weren't you? Angry. I was, more than anything, I was hurt. You and you, you testified earlier this morning, you claimed that you, you somehow were responsible for her getting the role uh, with Warner Brothers, correct? That's what you testified to this morning. You also, you also tried to get her fired from Aquaman, didn't you, um, after the temporary restraining order? Which question would you like me to handle first? There's one question, sir. You tried to get her fired from the Aquaman after the temporary restraining order, didn't you? Um, well, what is related to the story about me getting it just, her? Yes, yes or no, Mr. Depp. I, I don't, it, so I didn't ask what, what related come down to what yes story no related to. Times. I, I can't please you with a yes or a no every single it's a, time. It's a yes or no question, Mr. Depp. You tried to get Ms. Hurd fired, didn't you? Answer's no. All right, let's pull up um, Exhibit 821. Is that Mr. Depp, trying is to this, get her fired? This is, a, this is a text message that you had with your sister, Christy Dembrowski. She's the first witness in this case, right? She doesn't work at Warner Brothers. She you can't fire Amber. Yeah. This is a text message you had with her on June 4th, 2016, isn't it? Um, 
June 12th, yes. Your Honor, uh, move for the admission of Exhibit 821 as redacted. Any objection? Um, we would object on relevance grounds, Your Honor. I'll overrule that objection, 821 in evidence. <clears throat> and on June 4th, 2016, Mr. Depp, you texted your sister, I want her replaced on that WB film. Did I read that right? You did. Her is referring to Amber, right? That's correct. And WB is Warner Brothers, correct? Again, correct, yes. And then after you sent this text to your sister, following the temporary restraining order, you reached out to Guy Silverstein to have him fire Amber, correct? Who? Uh, uh, it's Greg Silverstein, I'm sorry. Uh, I don't recall reaching out to Greg Silverstein. You reach out to Sue Crawl to get to the fire, Miss Hurd, um, right? I had vetted Miss Hurd. And I had vetted Miss Hurd. Mr. Depp, you got your chance Warner to speak Brothers this morning. Had, Your Honor, I, I, Warner Brothers had two friends. Mr. Depp, if you could just answer the question, sir. Right, next question. You reached out to Greg Silverstein to get him to, to try to get Amber fired from Aquaman, didn't you? Asked I reached. And Excuse me? Asked and answered. It's a yes or no question that he hasn't answered yes or no. All right. Okay. Yes or no, sir. You reached out to Greg Silverstein to try to get Amber fired from Aquaman. Second half of your question is wrong, sir. You reached, reached out, out to Sue Kroll. because I vetted her. No, 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 M Mr. Depp. You reached out to Sue Kroll well, to like get her to, to, to try to get her to uh, help you get Amber fired from Aquaman, didn't you? No. And you reached out to Kevin Sujahara to try to get him to help you get Amber fired from Aquaman, didn't you? No. Can you pull up Exhibit 857, please? Mr. Depp, this is a text message that you sent to Christian Carino on August 15th, 2016, correct? This, this is already in evidence, correct? Or is it, it parts of it are. Oh, so not this? Not this version. Well, this can't be 857, then don't. don't. 857, sorry. Mr. Ronberry, you can't do this to me. <laughs> I'm sorry, Your Honor. Understood. Um, eight, we'll call it 857A. 857A. Yes, sir. Thank you. My apologies, Your Honor. Mr. Depp, you sent this text to Christian Carino on it, uh, August 15th? I most certainly did. Okay. And in this text that you sent to Chris, you know, Christian Carino is the person who used to be Amber's agent and then was your agent for a time, correct? That is correct. And in this text, you, oh, Your Honor, permission to publish, please. Do you want to put in evidence uh, yeah, first? Yeah, move for admission of 857A. objection? No objection. All right, 857A, uh, as redacted, will be in evidence. Thank you, Your Honor. And in this text, Mr. Depp, you said, she's begging for total global humiliation. She's going to get it. I'm going to need your texts about San Francisco, brother. I'm even sorry to ask, but... She sucked Mollusk's crooked dick and he gave her some shitty lawyers. I have no mercy, no fear, and not an ounce of emotion or what I once thought was love for this gold digging, low level, dime a dozen, mushy, pointless, dangling, overused, flappy fish market. I'm so fucking happy she wants to go to fight this out. She will hit the wall hard and I cannot wait to have this waste of a cum guzzler out of my life. I met a fucking sublime little Russian here, which made me realize the time I blew on that 50 cent stripper. I wouldn't touch her with a goddamn glove. I can only hope that karma kicks in and takes the gift of breath from her. Sorry, man, but now I will stop at nothing. Let's see if Mollusk has a pair. Come see me face to face. I'll show him things he's never seen before, like the other side of his dick when I slice it off. Did I read that right? You did. Now, not long after this, you can take that down, Michelle, thank you. Not long after this, miss, you, you met Mr. Waldman in the late summer or fall of 2016, correct? 
I believe, yeah, September, October, somewhere in there, whatever. And he's been your attorney since then, <laughs> correct? Yes, sir. And you met with him with the Daily Mail in London in February 2020, didn't you? I'm sorry, again? You and Mr. Waldman together met with the Daily Mail in London in February 2020, didn't you? Um, are you asking me a question about my attorney and I? Yeah, that you two met with people from the Daily Mail in London in February 2020. Was that during the London trial? No. No? No. In February. I don't recall it, though. Okay. I don't. If, to the extent Mr. Waldman testified that you did, you, you don't dispute that, correct? I, I just don't I, don't. I don't recall it. Okay. You don't disagree with Mr. Waldman's testimony that you and he met with people from the Daily Mail in London in February 2020, correct? If, if that's Mr. Waldman's testimony, then... Okay. Okay. But I, I just didn't necessarily know who these people were. Right. The, the, I guess. the same month that the Daily Mail released alleged tapes between you and Amber. Objection correct? calls for speculation. Alleged, I have personal yeah. knowledge. Alleged I'll, sustain, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Now, Mr. Depp, you, you testified, and I wrote it down before lunch. You said, when Ms. Myers asked you something about, you know, how does it feel to make you or how, how does it feel to be here? You said, I've been living with it for six years and waiting to be able to get the truth out. You remember saying that? Yes. You also said, I've spoken up for what I've been carrying on my back. Something to that effect. You remember saying that? Yes. And you've claimed several times in this proceeding, Mr. Depp, that this trial is your first chance to tell your story, haven't you? Yes, sir. But that's just not true, is it, Mr. Depp? That's not that's true. That's f no, for me it is true. Okay. Well, it, it, here's the thing. You, you, the fact is, Mr. Depp, when Dan Wooten wrote an article that was published in The Sun calling you a wife beater, mm -hmm. you brought a lawsuit against The Sun in June of 2018, correct? Yes, I put and that was that was six months before Miss Heard ever wrote her op-ed, correct? I don't know. And in the summer of 2020, there was a several-week trial in London against the Sun, correct? Miss Heard was not a party to that trial. She not my question, Mr. Depp. In the article that the Sun wrote that you sued over, you sued for Mr. Wooten calling you a wife beater, correct? Objection asked and answered. Sustained. Next question. And in the trial that you subsequently brought, you called a lot of witnesses, right? I don't know what a lot is. But I don't know. Many people testified on both sides of the trial, correct? Yes, many people. And many exhibits were introduced, correct? Like a trial, yes. And you, just like in this trial, you were on the stand for several days in that trial, correct? Yes, sir, I was. And that trial involved the same factual issues that you are litigating here, which is whether objection you committed domestic abuse illegal. against Amber Heard. Sustain the objection. Next question. You brought that case against the son because you were angry at the son for calling you a wife beater, correct? Y yeah, that's and you probably a pretty good reason. And you yeah. went through that trial in London. Correct? I didn't do, yes. Mr. Depp, you've already had a chance to tell your story, haven't you? No, Objection there were lim answered. great limitations okay. in the UK okay. trial. Okay. No further questions. All right, redirect. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Depp, um, Mr. Rottenborn asked you some questions about um, the UK trial. Why do you feel that this is the first time that you've actually had an opportunity to tell your story and, as you said, get off, get the load off your back? As, as the UK trial um, was uh, me suing Dan Wooten and the son for defamation for calling me um, <coughs> a wife beater, um, 
the UK have different, well, there are different laws, there are different ways they handle things, there are also limitations in uh, uh, evidence. Um, some things can be brought up, some things cannot Your be brought Honor, up. Like Mr. Rodney Moore. He's talking about limitations in evidence in the English. Your Honor, he's talking about his experience yeah, uh, testifying. Oh, overruled. You'll be okay. Um, yes, the, 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 there is a very... Um, everything is quite boxed in. With regard to with regard to what can be said, what can be spoken about, so uh, Miss Heard provided information to the son um, as their star witness, but the case was not brought against Miss Heard. It was brought against the son, newspaper, journal, whatever it is. Uh, Mr. Rottenborn referenced that you were on the stand for multiple days. Four and a half, I believe, yes. Yeah. What was the nature of that examination? Or, excuse me, who was conducting that examination of you? Um, uh, QC Sasha Wass. And whose attorney was that? The son's. Can we please pull up DX? 857A. All right, it's already in evidence, so you can publish it. Mr. Depp, do you recall seeing this text message when Mr. Rottenborn was questioning you? Oh, yes, I do. Can you explain what you're conveying to Mr. Carino in this text message? I'm in, I'm in total shock that this is happening to me, that my entire life on the planet has been uh, brought to the, the head of a pin with all this um, completely, utterly false information. So I am, yeah, when you're accused of horrific acts and things that you have not done, when it's actually some very uh, ugly things that are going out there into the world about you on a nonstop basis, by Ms. Hurd and her team, you have a tendency, as humans, to get very, very irate and angry, not to the point where you go out and hurt someone, not to the point even where you assault a cabinet. But you do get irate, you do wonder why this person is doing this to me. So yeah, many things go through your head. Um, and then you've got your family, you've got your kids, you've got your parent, your, my mom, thankfully, didn't get to read any of this, because that would kill her. But my father, my, my family, my, everyone that I've met, the people that have supported me, suddenly I'm scum. Why? Never had to happen. One little lie. So yes, very angry. Could we please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 821? <clears throat> Mr. Depp, do you recall seeing this text message um, when Mr. Rottenborn was asking you questions? Yes, he loves this one, yes. Yes. Would you care to explain what you're trying to convey in this text message? Um, well, Warner Brothers was about to find, they were about to find themselves in quite a dilemma as 
person that they had just cast. Objection, Your Honor. Lack of foundation as to what Warner Brothers knew or thought. Didn't I meet with them? All right. We could just wait uh, for the question. Uh, I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Um, Mr. Depp, without explaining what Warner Brothers felt, why did you send this text message to your sister? And what were, excuse me, strike that. What were you trying to convey to your sister when you sent this text message? Honestly, I felt responsibility for having gone to those people and, 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 and you know, uh, uh, painted such a beautiful picture. Objection. Hearsay, Your Honor. Now he's talking about what he said to Warner Brothers. Uh, over, overruled. Please continue. You change seats. Hmm? So, sorry, you can continue. Um, I, I felt it was my responsibility to get the truth to Warner Brothers about they were going to, what they were going to end up facing down the line, which is two franchises um, uh, that would be, would be causing problems for one another, especially as um, all the, any, any news, any press, any media that came out about me at that time had been turned into, you know, I was Charles Manson, you know, I was the worst thing on, on earth and they just kept coming. It was like a, it was like a nonstop fire. So my responsibility after having painted a beautiful picture of her for them was to tell them um, I, uh, I think you better. Jackson, Your Honor. He's getting into what he claims he told Warner Brothers or wanted to. He, he's, he's saying what he, he wanted to tell them. He's not saying what he actually told them. I'll sustain the objection. Next question. Mr. Depp, you mentioned two franchise films with Warner Brothers. What two franchise films are you referring to? Um, there was Aquanet, I mean, <laughs> Aquaman, sorry. Aquaman and Fan. Fantastic Beasts, uh, the one that I was uh, in. And why did you feel a responsibility with respect to those two franchise films? Um, Warner Brothers was starting to get quite upset about uh, some of the things that were being said about me in the press that were constant, constant, constant uh, hit pieces. Um, and uh, you know, it, on one level, on, on one level, yes, it's just acting, it's just movies, but it's business and it's your word. And I had given my word to them and I had to, I felt responsible in, 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 to be, that I had to tell them exactly what was going on and uh, that it was going to end up ugly. And which of those two film franchises were you a part of? I'm sorry? Which of those two film franchises were you a part of? Um, I, I, was, uh, I, was, I was in uh, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, and I was in um, the Fantastic Beasts, The Crimes of Grindelwald. Could we please pull up DX883? Now, Mr. Depp, do you recall seeing these text messages during Mr. Rottenborn's examination? Oh, God, yeah. Yes, I remember. And you didn't seem to recall these text messages. Is that fair? It, 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 it truly is fair. It's, I mean, it's not, I, not. Do you have she any? knows. I don't know who Molly is. I don't know any. I don't know nothing about this. Do you have any understanding of what you're referring to in this text message? Or these two text messages? No. I, 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 honestly, if, if, if somebody else had borrowed my phone or something and made this text to Stephen, possibly. But I don't understand the... 
I don't I don't have that kind of uh, I don't write like I don't have that kind of hubris or uh, expectation. That's quite grotesque text. Can we take that down, please? Can we please pull up Defendant's Exhibit 1821? Mr. Depp, do you recognize this document? That is behind the bar, yes. Okay. And do you see a... a do, Mr. Ronborn asked you some questions about whether there was a telephone yes, in, and in now Australia. Yes, and I, I see a telephone there now. Yes. And do you, did you recall really that do. telephone being there? I don't recall the telephone being there, but uh, I, I can see it now. Can we please pull up eight, uh, Defendant's Exhibit 1820? Do you recall me showing you this text message earlier on? Uh, or excuse me, do you recall yes, me showing you this picture yes. uh, during your examination? Yes, yes, yeah. Okay. And I think I asked you whether you recall a phone being mounted on the wall in the left of this picture. Do you remember that? Yes. And what was your answer to that? No. Mr. Depp, Mr. Rottenborn asked you some questions about your, your honeymoon. Do you remember that? Yes. And I believe you had testified that you and Ms. Hurd were on the Orient Express together. That's correct, yes. Where had you been prior to being on the Orient Express? Um, we had been in um, Australia, um, and then made it over to Thailand to catch the Orient Express. Okay. Um, if we could bring up to Plaintiff's Exhibit 162 again. Mr. Depp, do you know who took this picture? Malcolm Connolly. And despite what Mr. Rottenborn in showed you about the of the picture of you prior to this, do you see a bruise on your face in this picture? Uh, I see like what looks like a pretty decent shiner and a kind of a scratched up nose, yes. And do you recall how you got the scratches and the shiner? There was a very brief um, freak out that Miss Hurd had in our cabin uh, just before this dinner. I can't remember why, but there were many. Um, I remember taking the photograph, though. I mean, I remember being there. I remember meeting the chef and all that. But I, I mean, the quality of the photo is not great. The quality of the other photo that he showed is just pretty, pretty up. Mr. Depp, did you ever physically abuse Miss Heard during your relationship? Never. Okay. Never. No further questions. All right, sir. So you can have a seat next to your attorneys. Thank you. Thank you very much.